In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to take data from an OPC DA and OPC UA server and then send that data to Excel where we'll be able to read and write to the data. Let's start by establishing an OPC connection. Uh, and first, we're going to do an OPC DA connection. So well, I click Add and let's choose our server from the drop down. In this case, we're going to connect to the top server and we're going to put this data into the OPC DA group and we will scan the server at one second. Uh, we can leave everything else at its default. We will just load all the items on this server. Let's click, click OK and let's click Apply. We should see the status go to running. That means we have a good connection. If we view the data and go to our OPC DA tab and choose one of these groups, we can see we do have data moving. Let's now create an OPC UA connection. First thing we need to do is specify the URL. Uh, this is also to the top server and we're going to put this data into the OPC UA group. Again, let's load all the items and we'll do an, another update rate of one second. Click OK, click Apply, and that connection is also running. If we go to view data and we go to our OPC UA section, we can see we also have this data changing. So we basically have shown how to connect to an OPC DA server and an OPC UA server and gather that data in the data hub. Once you've established a connection to your data source and you have the data in the data hub, then we can open up Excel to pull the data into Excel. So let's do that. Um, I just created a blank workbook. There's nothing in here. Literally just started it. Um, and then we go to the Skynet tab. The Skynet tab is available once you install the Skynet Vine plugin. If we click to configure the Skynet Vine, let's walk through these settings real fast. So the first thing we need to do is tell it where, what is the host name or IP address of the computer running the data hub. In my case, this is a local connection, but this does work remotely as well. Um, if we had an Excel sheet on another computer, you'd want to specify the IP address or the computer name of the computer running your data hub. Uh, next, we need to specify the port number that we're connecting to. Um, I can show you what that means here in data hub. If we go to the tunnel mirror section, we can see here that the data hub is listening for plain text on port 4502 and secure connections on port 4503. So if we go back to Excel, you can see we can do secure, which automatically changes it to 4503, or we could do plain text. Let's now connect, and we can see our connection was successful. Now that we've connected to our data hub from Excel, let's go to the data points section. I'll quickly walk you through the options here. Um, the selected point is selected on, through the browser here on the left hand side. As you can see as we change the point here, the point name gets changed. The range is, done, is changed by just clicking the different cells that you want to bind the selected point to. Then we can choose the data direction. So we're going to create these as read-write points so that we can actually read and write to them. In this case, you have the option to specify different properties. We're going to be using the value property. If you wanted to pull in the time or the quality, you could do that as well. So let's do a point binding to A1 for the OPC DA tag, tag1. If we highlight tag1, click Add put it there. Now we're going to go to row 1 column C and we're going to add the same OPC UA tag, tag 1. Perfect. Now that we've done that we can write to one of these tags. So I'm going to enter value of 25, hit enter. You can see that value updated. Um, this value increments by 1.25 every one second. So you, you'll notice it goes from the value we write, let's do 0, to 1.25 after the second, after it updates. So you can see that we can read and write to these values directly from Excel. To remove 
a binding, simply go to the bindings tab and we can expand this a little bit so that it's easier to read. We can see here we have two different bindings one to A1, one to C1 for the tags OPCDA channel device tag 1 and then OPCUA channel device tag 1. In this case if we would like to remove a binding we simply highlight the binding and remove it. That's how easy it can be to take your OPCDA or OPCUA data and bring it into Excel and allow Excel to both read and write to those data points.